Hello, my name is Chris, paranormal investigator, enthusiast, and uh, kind of tech guy. Uh, if you're watching this video, you're curious how to turn a digital FM radio from Radio Shack into a ghost or spirit box. And this is definitely an updated version of uh, the radios that they're selling at Radio Shack. This is model 10B15 portable pocket radio. Uh, this model was... Uh, said to be unhackable online, so I, I, I just kind of like the challenge and kind of want to know why it is unhackable. And basically is because now it's all in the circuitry and the circuit board. Uh, in the other like only four videos that you'll find on YouTube on actually how to do it, it's like as easy as just snipping a wire and that's because um, the wire was serving as uh, the like the signal to mute it was the um, it was muting the audio signal for for the RF and and so as it was scanning through it would tell it give it a, a signal an impulse to stop now this is all on the circuit board and uh, the whole phase uh, uh, lock loop and the, the current driven oscillator and the frequency synthesizers I'm, I'm, without getting too techy uh, it's all in the in the circuit board, so all that's happening before it even gets to your uh, your audio when you hear it. So without further ado, <clears throat> let's go ahead. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go ahead and break this down. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions at the end, uh, go ahead and uh, just put a comment in the box, and I'll be more than happy to to answer it. Um, the reason why this is unhackable is because it will um, eventually stop on a signal um, and uh, this hack will allow it to sweep through the whole entire band, I don't know, three to five times before you have to press um, up or down on the, on the scan. So right away you can notice that the that the antenna is removed. Doubt, this is very crucial, necessary that you remove it, otherwise it will keep uh, stopping on on certain frequencies and you'll be having to press up and down uh, fairly frequently and uh, that will uh, kind of defeat the purpose of the whole hack. So go ahead and remove the antenna uh, and that's right here on the back. Sorry, this camera is really, really old and I'm looking at this little screen that's upside down backwards. There's four screws on the back. One, two, three, four. Go ahead and slowly remove that. And the reason why I say slowly <coughs> is there's a thin white wire from the antenna that's soldered onto the actual circuit board itself. <clears throat> Excuse me, I guess I should have drank some water before I did this, but anyways. Uh, so here you can see... Do, 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 do. You can see that this circuit board, or this particular radio, is a, uh, it's a crystal controlled reference oscillator, which is what's using to... Um, um, using it to stop in the frequency and recognize uh, what is a real uh, intelligent signal, rather it be music, audible. <clears throat> Here's your FM modulator right there. Uh, okay, yeah, you can see it. Okay, your FM modulator here. And um, the reason why you see a little coil here with some wire wrapped around it, I wouldn't tamper with that too much. This is um, the way it's wrapped around is is pretty important and that negates like what uh, frequencies it is scanning as it's going through so try not to <laughs> play around with this too much this actually fell out and the second one I broke <laughs> this is number <laughs> this is number four because I was trying different things there's um, I, was, I don't know I was looking at these copper conductors on here I was trying to interfere with the signal there but um, anyways this will definitely work and it's really easy so We'll go ahead and put that back on. So once you remove those four screws, go ahead and separate 
the circuit board. Right. It wasn't even in the, in the screen. You guys got to say something. <laughs> so go ahead and just uh, kind of pull it apart slowly and separate it from the front. So it's, you're pulling, you're pulling away from it, and it's it's pretty crucial that you do this uh, slowly because if you pull too hard you can see that there is a uh, a gray um, right here plastic band here that is sending the, the send, sending the signal from uh, the board to what you want down to the down to the circuit board and actually telling you what to do so what I did was kind of what most of the videos have been spot on with is going ahead and cutting the one that is labeled MU or mute except now they're a little more advanced that 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 one little wire has more than one control as mute so how do you know which one is number we're gonna go ahead and cut number on oh, it's not focused I'm so sorry about that um, There we go. Okay. So right here it says mute. And it says stop. It says open. Um, that's how you know that is the, the wire and the pin responsible for muting the audio for uh, when it's going through uh, different frequencies that aren't important. So I counted from left to right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So go ahead, mark that kind of your, in your head, and you can just turn it really slowly. And as you can see here, there's these lines. Well, I'll get my, each line is the, is the wire itself. So start from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And go ahead and make a snip there. So after I did that, it still didn't uh, have that sweeping, um, that sweeping uh, kind of effect that we are looking for. So I uh, did some reading and found out that you also need to cut number six. So count six. Uh, left to right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Go ahead, turn it over, do the same thing, and kind of fold it back how I have it a little just to make sure there's a clear separation. Um, and go ahead, push the circuit board back down. This one, since this radio is broken, I never intended to make a video, but go ahead and <laughs> push it back down. And I forgot to mention earlier, the, the, it's held down originally with uh, with glue, so you might need uh, like a Phillips hat or screwdriver to help kind of pry the sides off. So um, just be careful there. Um, close it up. Okay, let's say it's closed up nice. And since this one doesn't work, I, I really don't care. Um, and then and, and then that's it. It is that simple. Um, I, unfortunately I broke this one because I was trying to make it even clearer, uh, the audio output, and I was trying to add a little amplifier to it to make it sound a little clearer, but I'm not buying this anymore. Um, I, I'm also going to be playing around with some other new radios. Here's one, Kato, and it's also from Radio Shack. This one's pretty high tech. It's got shortwave, AM, FM, uh seven different bands you could try it on got this one from Walmart it's uh, just looks like it's like a little sport one really old-fashioned one so like I'm I don't know I just think it's fun to play around and um, make new spear boxes with uh, the new updated radios they have because uh, the ones that I've been reading online they don't even they don't even sell anymore at Radio Shack <clears throat> so yeah uh, I'll put a little six second video of whatever I had left because I never intended to make a video until I, I don't know, I was just about to throw it out. I was like, you know what, that was, I should probably just, I don't know, 
help other people out, and who knows. Um, and I was grateful for the videos I found. Just, there wasn't a lot. So, um, I'll go do that. If you, yeah, if you have any questions, just uh, write it down below. Thank you. Have a good one, and happy hunting. Uh, one more note. Um, I t tended to get uh, the clearest and best results when I had my sensitivity. You can play around with it. Um, that's your button on the right here. I'm sorry that this thing just looks like crap. <laughs> I'm just looking at it on screen. But, um, yeah, this, you have your sensitivity right here. Um, you have your uh, digital, local. If you go to digital, it's going to lock onto the signals a lot quicker and f more frequently. So go to local, and it'll do that more, that sweeping process, um, uh, I don't know, maybe up to three to five times and without you having to press the up and down scan. Uh, yeah, your antenna should always be off. Even if your finger's touching it, like this, if your finger's just touching it as it's scanning, it will stop. It's using your body as a, as kind of like a, as an antenna or an extension of it, and, and it draws in a signal. So keep your finger away from that. Sometime, I don't know, even try it. I don't, who, know, who knows? Who knows? But the results I got were clear as day, really cool. Kind of <laughs> put chills down my spine at first, but I loved it. Uh, so sensitivity I left at local and um, let's see here the tone is which is on the left side of the device here this middle switch I had it at set to high it goes low to high now if you set it to low you're just gonna get a lot of uh, just white noise and static and the point of it is to that the spirits are able to use the the RF input to manipulate it enough and to make words. So if you uh, turn down to low, it's just static and it's really nothing came through. So when you put it to high, you'll hear uh, talking music much more clear and it's louder too. So uh, that's where I had it when I heard my stuff. Volume, I kind of just had all the way up. Uh, I don't think that really matters as much. And uh, so yeah. Um, and the last thing is uh, which wave, sorry, trying to zoom in, which band of radio is best. Um, I did, it was probably backwards, I don't, this is, <laughs> it's weird having to look through. Um, so I do not use shortwave, there's nothing coming through there. I tried it. And what, what is cool with using the shortwave when you hold and do seek scan is it will do the <clears throat> continuous sweep just like a spirit box or an SP7. Uh, um, uh, how the, how those would work and but there's nothing on that. There is nothing coming through for me. There might for you. Who knows? And uh, so AM. I tried AM. Super strong signals in AM, and it was always stopping on uh, certain frequencies I was trying to lock them out and don't use AM because then you can't uh, have it do that sweeping motion when you go to FM perfect <clears throat> that's the only one I, I used uh, I was able to sweep through it if, uh, I think my max count was five times and um, yeah so that's all I have to uh, tell you for now and uh, Good luck. Good luck trying to hack other other uh, radios, and uh, be sure to post. Happy hunting. Thank you. Bye. Let's go. Let's go.